All right, this is Ice Pick again with a second episode of Slay the Spire. Uh, I'm going to play a little bit of the Silent today. Uh, the Silent is a different character from the Ironclad. She specializes in uh, poison and blocking and damage. And uh, most importantly, she has a very different starting skill, which is Ring of the Snake. Draw two additional cards at the beginning of the turn instead of healing after every battle. But she's very similar in that what you get at the beginning is probably going to uh, do a lot to define how your run's going to go and what you're planning on doing. I'm going to start with a random rare card because it should help me define where I want to go with this run. I drew Nightmare. Uh, choose a card. Next turn, add three copies of that card into your hand. This could be really good, and I can use it with basically anything uh, to be pretty effective. So I really like that. And the upgrade just costs less. <clears throat> so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, can't do anything with an early shop. I definitely want to hit a bunch of elites if I can. Is there a way I can get two elites? I need to be... Okay, I can get two elites no matter where I go. So let's go ahead and start with the path that has the most question marks, because we need to get some relics. We can afford to take just one damage. I'll get some damage out on this guy. <coughs> I apologize if my uh, voice and everything is not in good shape right now. I felt like I'm in rough shape at the moment. I'm not sure why. In any case, we were only able to block 10 of the 12 damage coming this time because we didn't have enough defend. But that's probably what I what I would have done even if I had three defends anyway. So that's again, one defend and then lay some attacks. If I draw three attacks next turn, and I should at least get two, at least one with a neutralize, yeah, I didn't get anything. But most importantly, I have enough defends here that it's not a problem. I'll probably get enough to kill him next turn because one of the cards I'm going to draw is definitely going to be neutralized, which is basically a free attack. Uh, no such luck. So I will neutralize him, and then I can at least take no damage, hit him with a strike, and kill him next turn. Would have preferred to kill him this turn just for speed's sake, but in the end, it doesn't really make any difference. Boom, you're dead. Uh, let's see. Outmaneuver is a really good card. Dagger throw is a good card. Deflect is a good card. These are all really good cards. Um, getting some more damage would be good. So I think I'm going to go with Dagger Throw. As good as Outmaneuver is. And it is really good. Let's see. I could go for a Relic and get a Regret card. I could get max HP plus 5, which would be nice. It's going to be one of those two. I'm going to take the box. I got Regret. And I got an Anchor. Start each combat with 10 block. That's not bad. I need to get to a shop to get rid of that uh, Regret, though. I think I'll just buy one potion. Oh, a Strength Potion. That's great. The Silent really has trouble dealing damage early on. That potion will go a long way to helping. We're going to go ahead, well, they're going to do damage. I'm going to do a dagger throw. Hey, sweet, I got to neutralize. So I'm going to go ahead and neutralize you. And now I can easily defend just like that. Oh, I forgot to hit the anchor. I could have done a lot more damage that turn. That was a waste. Oh, well. I'm still going to be able to definitely kill one. Yeah, and the other one's just doing a 
buff slash debuff, so I'm not especially concerned. This is an easy fight. This is among the easiest fights there is. Okay, he weakened me, but I'm still going to have enough to kill him here. Yeah, just like that. Bam. Fight over. I didn't even get hit with the regret that time, so that's good. Um, well, hey, I got a second chance to get out maneuver, so I'm going for that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go to the question mark again. Aha, remove a card. Regret is gone. So I didn't pay for that relic at all. That wound up being quite good. Uh, we're at 65 to 70, so I'm definitely going to smith. Uh, Nightmare I could make cost less, which isn't bad. Dagger throw gets more damage, which isn't bad. Outmaneuver, you get an extra energy, which is pretty good. But I'm going to take neutralize because it makes two weak, which is twice as good. And neutralize will still be free, and it even does an extra damage. So I love upgrading neutralize. It's a really good card to upgrade. Just a couple of slimes. This shouldn't be too bad, especially because I can straight up kill one. I'll just discard it to defend, because he's doing a debuff, so I don't even need to worry about it. But because I have two weakness on neutralize now, I can hit him now, and even when, when he attacks next turn, he'll still have the weakness on him. And then I'm going to strike him, and then I'm going to outmaneuver because I don't really need to hit him with that other strike when he's just doing a debuff on me. And next turn, I'll have five energy to hopefully kill him. That would be ideal. Not going to be able to kill him, but again, he's not attacking. So I really don't have anything to do here. <laughs> I guess I did wound up not needing out maneuver, but I guess it will work out in the end, I suppose. Uh, yep, because I've got two strikes, and fight's over. Another easy fight. I like easy fights. Um, I've already got an outmaneuver. Two isn't bad, of course, but having a dagger spray could come in really handy. It's eight damage anyway, which is nice. Um, and it also hits all enemies, so that's pretty good. And now we've got the elite fight. I'm going to use this... Oh, yeah, it's a log of Ulan to convert to keep as much strength as I can, I am 100% going to Strength Potion here. And I'm also, <laughs> this turn, I'm going to use Nightmare, and I'm going to create a bunch of Neutralizes. I'm going to have three Neutralizes in my hand next turn. It's going to be quite nice. But it, most importantly, I'm going to be able to apply a lot of weakness by doing so. So I think this is an excellent Excellent idea. <laughs> yeah, so we're definitely going to put a hurting on him this turn. Neutralize. 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 <laughs> and then we can dagger spray. Strike. Strike because he's stunned. Pretty good first turn against the Lagavulin. But I love that he's got seven weakened. That's going to make surviving this fight a lot easier. Speaking of surviving, we're going to start with an out maneuver since I only have the one uh, defend card anyway. Get some more energy for the next turn. Do a dagger throw. Discard strike. Get another neutralize. This, is, this fight's going really well so far. I'm very happy with how this is going. How about some more neutralize? Free damage. And then another dagger spray. Hit him with a strike. Block some of this damage come in. I mean, you're never going to fight this guy as the silent and take no damage. Unless you've been incredibly lucky with cards. But what I am going to be able to do is I'll be able to finish him off next turn most likely. Uh, only taking about 15, 13 damage from him. Which is honestly... I'm really happy with that. <laughs> I am really happy with that fight. Interesting. So this uh, relic, you gain 30 gold for free, and then you're 10% more likely to find treasure in question mark rooms. That could come in handy. Plus a fire potion, which is great. And what are we going to go for here? I started using leg sweep. I think it's actually really good. You get 12 block, which is expensive for 2 energy, but the 2 weak that goes with it 
means it's actually an extremely efficient defensive card. And I like to have a couple of those no matter what I'm running. Uh, Sundial. Every three times you shuffle your deck, gain two energy. All right. That seems like the sort of thing that could make a huge difference if it hits at the right time. <coughs> All right. Now maneuver. And then leg sweep. So I take no damage, and he's weakened for two turns. I didn't get to hit him with the dagger spray, but I still think that was a good turn. All right, now let's start working on bringing this dude down. The outmaneuver allowed me to spend enough energy to prevent any damage this turn, which was nice. Oh, looks like he's bailing quick. That's not good. Boom. 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 All right, he's at 10. So I've got a chance to bring him down. He's going to try and run away, depending on the damage. I, don't, I want to keep my gold. So let's see what kind of damage we have here. I could do 8, 14, 20 damage. All right, we've got him. He, I don't need to burn my fire potion to kill him. So that's good. I was going to burn it if I had to, but I wasn't about to lose my money. Terror is a great card. It just, you take a boss that you're fighting... As long as it doesn't have artifact and is immune to debuffs, you can just make him vulnerable for the rest of the fight. And that is essentially a 50% damage buff for the whole fight. It's really good. Let's see what we can buy in our shop. We don't really need to get rid of any cards exactly. Um, I like Caltrops. I think it's a good card. Uh, I can also buy War Paint, which gives me two random upgrades that could be helpful. What do I think I might do? I think I'm going to buy the War Paint, which got me, in, hey, a couple of really good cards to upgrade. It didn't get a Strike or a uh, Defend. And then I'm going to buy this Heal Hook, uh, because the enemy is going to be weak most of the time we're fighting them, thanks to our upgraded Neutralize. So that seems like a good play to me. We want to fight the next elite, so we're going to go this way. This fight is why we have Dagger Spray. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have it yet. <laughs> um, I still want to do out maneuver because it's good. Uh, and then, hmm, I want to do a defend to take less damage from these guys, and then I'm gonna. I think I'm going to do a dagger throw for maximum damage on the highest hit point guy. Good. Discard a strike, I guess. We'll see what happens. We're going to take a bunch of damage for these guys. We're going to get frailed, I think. Oh, no. Weakened. This could be a problem. And they are bringing the damage this fight, this round, too. I think I'm probably going to use that block potion. Go ahead and kill you. I can use all my blocks. I'll only take six damage. Yeah, that's not worth using my block potion. I'm just going to eat it, I think. It's not great, but I think I can afford it. Actually, it wound up only being four damage, so not bad. Killed one with that. And then I guess we can defend and I guess drop a terror on this guy. I mean, just to use it. I'm not going to be using either of the other defends. Okay, now let's see here. We're still weak, but I will be able to kill this guy because of the weakened. And then I think we're going to leg sweep just to protect us a little bit. You got to slow play it a little bit with the silent since you don't have the regen that you would have as the ironclad. 
There's a dagger spray to end the fight. All right. Feeling pretty okay about this run, but I need some more. This actually works really well with the sundial. I'm going to take that. Okay, these guys. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Whew. I don't want to lose the dagger spray, but I really don't want to start taking a bunch of damage. So I'm going to go ahead and do a leg sweep and then outmaneuver. You know, once again, I forgot that I have the anchor. I need to remember that because it's pretty handy. Uh, okay, so now that I've gotten rid of his uh, thing, I can actually use terror on him. And then I'm going to calculate a gamble because I didn't like that hand much. Now here we go. Now we're talking. Now we can nightmare neutralize. Get a bunch of neutralized. Get these guys weak. We can actually weaken him. And then we can do a dagger throw, which will draw us a card. Oh, but I guess it automatically discarded the card, so that's no good. Because we didn't get any defend that round, uh, I'm going to prevent a good chunk of this damage using my block potion. Because I'm going to wind up needing it, I think. Even with it, I still wound up taking 10 damage. So I feel like that was worth it. All right, let's start. Weaken you. Not going to be able to get through the arcane there, but that's okay. Then we'll survivor. We don't want to discard dazed because it's ethereal. It'll just go away on its own. So never discard an ethereal card if it's a if it's a curse because it doesn't help you at all. All right, now we can neutralize him. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to defend twice. And then we're going to take a little bit of a hit, but that's okay. Uh, I just didn't want to take much of a hit. I'm probably going to have to rest before the boss fight, which is okay. I mean, it's not the end of the world to have to rest before the boss fight. Definitely leg sweeping this round. Hit you. All right. And then we're going to discard defend, and I ran out of energy. Definitely going to be using my outmaneuver there, and now I can't. But at least we're defending for um, most of this damage. We're only going to take five damage. All right, Dagger Spray is really good here. Then we're going to Heal Hook this guy, because he's weak. We get an extra card and an extra energy, so we can kill him too. And then we're going to start working down this guy. So we're going to win. I mean, we're going to take another hit here, but I w should be able to heal up and uh, do some more work. Uh, well, all I can really do is do a leg sweep here. So I definitely don't want to use my fire potion. I have a feeling that I'm going to be needing that. Neutralize. There we go. <coughs> Pen dip. Awesome. Every tenth attack you play deals double damage. And the pen is mightier than the sword. All right. Um, I keep getting this catalyst card, which is good if we have anything that gives poison, and we don't. <laughs> so it's really not that good. I'm going to take the free deflect for free four block. That's pretty good. All right, now we have to get through this fight to get to the campfire to rest. This shouldn't be too bad. So we'll take definitely take the free deflect, and then we'll nightmare up more our uh, neutralize. And then we're going to neutralize the higher damage target, which is the slime. Uh, 
Ah, got us a wound. Not great. But now we can definitely keep these guys weak for the rest of combat for sure. Um, go ahead and play the outmaneuver. And then defend both. And then we're going to have five energy next turn to whale on these guys. Another wound is not great. All right, these guys are both weak, so I can heal hook for free, which got me my dagger throw, which got me a calculated gamble, which I think I can afford to use, to be honest. Which got me my dagger spray, which is exactly what I was hoping for. Then I can strike, and I may as well play that. The thing about the Silent is she gets a lot of cards that allow her to use a lot of cards. So expect a lot of comboing in every Silent run that I do. That Energy Potion is probably going to come in handy too. Oh, let's see. I could take another Leg Sweep or I could have somebody, the Piercing Whale, which causes all enemies to lose 6 strength for a whole turn. Honestly, it seems good, but I don't think it's that great. I really do like Leg Sweep, though. I'm very... I'm, I think it's one of the better defensive cards in the game. I am going to rest. I know it's boring, and I should try to upgrade cards whenever I can, but I definitely want to win this fight. All right, Hexaghost. So this guy does nothing in the first turn, which is boring. Uh, but then he does a very powerful attack in the second turn. Uh, and I want to be ready for that. So what I'm actually going to do here is I want to make sure I've got leg sweeps in my hand for the next turn. As lame as that sounds. Because I want to try and block off his big attack. So I'm going to actually nightmare my leg sweep plus. And I'll have three leg sweep pluses extra in my deck starting with my next hand. The benefit of that is, is I'll have them most of the time. And when this guy hits hard... You want to be ready. You see, he does 24 damage in his first big attack. But now that I've got these leg sweep pluses, I can weaken him so it's 3 times 6, and I'm blocking 15 of it already. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. Good enough, in fact, that I'm going to go ahead and let him deal the 3 damage to me. I'm going to outmaneuver, and I'm ready to do some serious damage next turn. Only took three damage. Not concerned about that. All right. Boom. I'm going to go ahead and discard a defend. Neutralize. I can afford more expensive cards, so I'm going to do a calculated gamble. Good. Terror. I take uh, six damage this round, but that's okay. Remember, as we learned in the Ironclad run, You'll heal the full going to the next floor. So this isn't too worrisome to take the six damage there. All right. Go ahead and do a free deflect. And then we'll heal hook because it's free as well. Neutralize because it's free. Strike because it's not free, but who cares? And then I'll defend and throw another leg sweep on there. Because we want to keep this guy weak as long as we can. That's very helpful. He's also going to be dropping burns into our deck, which isn't much fun. Go ahead and outmaneuver whenever we can, basically. Don't need the leg sweep for now. Go ahead and hit him with another swipe. Don't have to defend on a turn where he's not attacking. He's buffing himself, which is a problem in and of itself, but it's one that we'll deal with. You can see he's lighting up as he goes around. He gets stronger with every flame that turns on. And then when he gets to full again, he's going to do his big attack again. That's why I want to have more of these in the deck. Dagger spray. Strike. And then double damage strike. Now he's only doing 10 damage, so we're covered with our leg sweep. Don't need to use that defend. And now he's up to four flames. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll do my best. My microphone sucks, as you know. I really should just buy a new one. Uh, 
My roommate is telling me that I'm being too loud. Well, that sucks. I mean, he's weakened for 12 turns. <laughs> That's not bad. These uh, um, uh, burns are starting to pile up a little bit. All right, so that's the only one we're going to be able to drop. Once again, we're only going to take three damage from this, so I'll outmaneuver. More burns. This is getting to be a problem. I mean, we've already got him under half health, and we're not really taking any damage. So we're probably going to be okay, even with all these burns. I think I need to focus a little bit more on doing damage if I can. Go ahead and defend so we don't take damage from that burn. Or as much, I guess I should say. He's at 80. We really got to do more damage here. Okay. This is getting to be a problem. We're going to take 12 damage just from these burns. We don't have any other defense. I think we're going to lose this run. I just need to find a way to do 27 more damage before he kills me. I'm about to take 10, 26 damage. I'm going to be at 4 hit points here. Things are getting scary. Uh, he's at 38. I need to deal 18 damage before he deals me 4. So I can throw my fire potion to kill him. He's got 7 coming. And I've got 8 here. Well, I just blocked all of it. So that bought me another turn. But I didn't deal him any damage that turn. Alright, heal hook is free. Deflect is free, it'll block the burn. I'm going to have to do this defend. Otherwise he's going to kill me. We can dagger spray for a little more damage. Got him. But, because he's not going to kill us this turn, and I've got an outmaneuver coming, I'm going to go ahead and risk it for the biscuit, since I can always throw this fire potion next turn. If I don't kill him this turn, uh, if I don't kill him on the next turn, if I don't draw the items I need to do the 19 damage here, I can always throw the fire potion. That did 13, and then I could strike him. I didn't even have to use my fire potion. That was a close fight, but I won. Um, if I could play, I can do this. I can play Phantasmal Killer and Outmaneuver on the same turn. It gives me double attack damage in addition to having the extra energy from Outmaneuver. I think that's a good play. Now, let's see. Gain energy at the start of each turn. You can no longer see enemy intent. Energy at the start of each turn. You cannot play more than six cards per turn. At the end of your turn, you no longer discard your hand. Draw one less card each turn. Out of these, I like this one the most. Most of the time, you don't play six cards. Uh, even with four energy. So we'll see how this goes. We got a little bit of money. So I think I can do an early shop. But I would miss the first, uh, let's see, I would miss that elite if I went for the early shop. But I could pick this one up. And there's another one up there, another one there. Okay, it's two either way. 
So we'll go ahead and go for the early shop. It's going to be some fighting before we get there. Hmm. Well, we can leg sweep one of these guys and then calculate a gamble to get some attacks here. I'm going to go ahead and vulnerability this guy and then dagger throw on this guy. I should have heel hooked instead. Oh well, it'll be fine. These guys are not the biggest concern. Once again, I forgot I had the anchor. I didn't have to do anything to these guys as far as defense. Oh well, I'm basically hoping for a dagger, th the uh, dagger spray, because I can put down two of these guys out of the sky, and then out maneuver. I think that was a pretty good turn. Dagger spray is really good against these dudes. All right. I guess I'll phantasmal killer. All right. Well, if I can't knock you out of the sky, uh, I guess I can afford to take a little bit of damage here. I'm only going to take nine, nine damage here. That's not too bad. I don't need to do anything especially worrisome at this point. So now we got double damage this turn. And then we drew another Phantasmal Killer. Nice. I guess I'll do it again. Neutralize you. I guess we'll leg sweep you. And that's it for our damage, unfortunately. I, <laughs> But it's okay, because I have Phantasmal again next turn. And hopefully we'll draw the Dagger Spray, and that should just drop at least one of these guys. And we did. Alright, so he's down. You're weakened, so I can heal hook you for free. Strike you. Strike you. Go ahead now maneuver. Yeah, these birds are pretty much a pushover. Uh, if you've got the right cards. And I don't even really have the right cards, to be honest. But, job well done. Tell you what, that, uh, um, um, what's it called? The, uh, Phantasmal Killer paid off really well to start. <laughs> paid off quite well. All right. Hmm. I think I'm going to add a drink and energy drink here. Because I want to weaken both of these guys. but also get some damage out there. And I get a pen dip this turn. Sweet. I could use Calculated Gamble to try and get a weak, uh, neutralize. And there it is. So, overall, I'm pretty happy with that turn. <clears throat> the 37 block was a little bit of overkill, I think. They're both weakened, so heal hook is free. And then we can strike, 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 play a defend. So we're going to take a little bit of damage this turn, but just nine. Yeah, I'm going to keep saying that. And that shit's going to keep adding up, and I'm going to eat it later. <laughs> That's practically a given. Uh, dagger throw, you're dead. Uh, drop. Huh. Man, <laughs> so I want to use. I'm just gonna. I want to do this combo at least once. We're gonna outmaneuver and phantasmal killer, and I'm just gonna have to eat a 12 damage hit here. I'm just gonna need to find my way to a uh, a uh, landing spot, a campfire for sure. Okay, so we'll terror and then dagger throw. Don't need Nightmare here and Strike. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good combo. I like it. Strength Potion, very nice. And I'm going to definitely take the Caltrops plus uh, 5 damage to any attacker. Pretty nice. All 
All right, what are you hitting me with? Oh, you're hitting hard. Well, I'll go ahead and footwork to increase my block from deflect to six, which is going to make you do low damage to me. And then hit you with some heat. This turn, the anchor paid off big time because this guy hit hard to start with, and I just blocked it. So it's all good. Uh, he's about to attack or do a uh, debuff. So let's put on my defense, or at least weaken him, I should say. I don't have enough to play that anyway, so I'll discard it and hit him with another attack. I already got him to about half health. Feeling pretty good about that. All right, he's hit me with another attack. Caltrops here. So now he'll take damage whenever he hits us. He's weakened, so heal hook's free. Um, and I'm just going to not even try to hit him this round. I'm just going to prevent some damage here. He's only going to deal 5 damage, and he's going to take 15. So that's not bad. <coughs> now I'm going to weaken him. Continue the defense. Go ahead and get rid of that, because I want to use this, and then defend again. Once again, this time we're only going to be taking 3 damage, and he's taking 15. The value of Caltrops Plus is pretty good here. And uh, now this dude is definitely fucked. I just need one attack. <laughs> I really don't need to get that many more cards at this point. However, a really good attack does sound appealing. We're going to go ahead and go this way. Snacko. All right, so the thing that the Snacko does, he hits you with this uh, confusion. Um, which makes all of your cards cost a random amount, which is really interesting. It can be actually be helpful as opposed to uh, hurtful. So that's really interesting. Uh, but because he doesn't attack in the first turn, I can just kind of go after him. And you can see that that was a pretty effective turn, but we're going to see what happens when he confuses us and all of our cards cost a random amount. For, for example, Phantasma Killer is free, but Outmaneuver costs three. <laughs> Very strange. I will use Footwork for the defensive in buff. I would like to use Quick Slash and deal some more damage, but I think I'm just going to block most of his damage. I think that's a better use of that. Jack, cut it out. Nightmare is free, so that's interesting. Uh, I guess I'll free a bunch of heal hook. Heal hook is pretty cool. And then I'm going to heal hook, and then calculate a gamble to see if I can get anything that would weaken him. I didn't, so I'm going to take a hit this turn, but at least I was able to do another good chunk of damage. All right, can I get something that weakens? I didn't. But I can kill him this turn, so it's fine. Once again, I took some damage that turn. That's a little frightening. Another out maneuver is good. All right, here we are at the, at the shop. Okay, what can we get here? I should remove a strike or a defend. I'm gonna remove a defend. Um, and then hmm, I can afford either of these. That's only gonna get me two extra cards. This will actually get me an extra seven hit points, so I'm gonna take that. And then we have a campfire, which I am going to use to rest. Because we have an elite fight coming up, and I don't want to lose. And it's the Book of Stabs. Whenever we get hit by this guy, we're going to add, a, we get a wound. So that's not much fun. In any case, let's start with the footwork. 
to buff up our dexterity. Then we're going to go ahead and block, because we don't have to use a leg sweep here, but we're going to, because it applies weak, and that allows us to use a heel hook for free, which got us an outmaneuver plus. That was an excellent choice. You know, I should probably use the strength potion. And I'm going to do that. I don't want to come out of this with too much damage. Terror. Then we're going to straight up calculate a gamble here, because I need to get better defense. I didn't get better defense, but I did get another outmaneuver, so next turn we will hopefully have a little bit be le uh, better luck with our draw. We're going to get two wounds from the Book of Stabbing here. But now he's going to start hurting himself, which is really helpful. All right, let's do a quick slash. We got a Nightmare. Um, having a bunch of dagger throws seems like an interesting idea. Let's do that. Hey, awesome, another defend. I'll take that. Unfortunately, we're going to still take a damage from him. That's not ideal, but it's only one damage. Oh, happily, uh, we got Pen Nib this turn, so this attack's dealing double damage, which means we can deal 22 with Dagger Throw, or 12 twice with Dagger Spray, which we're going to do. going to go ahead and pop Phantasmal Killer here, too. And then we're just going to hit him with... Dagger throw to get a leg sweep, which is awesome. I'm gonna block all of his damage now. That's really good. That was basically the best card I could have drawn there. Sometimes things just work. That time it just worked. And now we're dealing double damage. We should definitely be able to kill him. Yeah, he's done. That was a really good fight. We got a peace pipe, which allows us to remove cards from our deck at rest sites. That could come in handy. And a regen potion, which will definitely be handy. I really like blur, uh, especially in a deck where I've got, say, a couple of leg sweep pluses. Because you get blocked for an extra turn when you use blur. It's pretty good. This is definitely a high combat path we've, take, we've taken here. Uh, see, like, we have all these defend cards. Because I have a blur, I can play them all and still get the benefit from them. So that's nice. So we're going to do at least that much. And then... Especially good to get that on the first turn, too, because it will allow us to keep our anchor for a turn, basically. So that's really good. Uh, I don't. He's weakened, so I can heal hook him for free. And then we're just going to stack up a little bit more defend. And here, here we actually hit our Velvet Choker. Uh, so that's the first time that's hit us negatively, but it wasn't that bad. Just cost me five defend, which isn't the end of the world. Go ahead and outmaneuver. I think I'm going to use leg sweep on you, so you're weakened as well. Now my defense is dumb, and I'll just do another attack on that guy. Basically, I did that leg sweep actually to weaken the Mystic <laughs> instead of actually needing any of that block. All right. Speaking of leg sweeps, just like that, we are mostly blocked. We're going to go ahead and defend to get the rest of it. Uh, go ahead and do dagger spray, dagger throw, and we will get pen dib on our next turn. Okay, Frail is going to be trouble. I dislike this. Phantasmal Killer, good. Footwork, good. This is a good turn to be building this stuff up because they are buffing this turn. So that was a good turn for me to be buffing as well. All right, this Mystic needs to go down. So close. They're not attacking again. 
But in any case, the sheer damage that, that Mystic just took means we're probably going to be able to kill her next turn, even with, through this heal. 33 damage, that is quite the difficult thing to stay. Well, you need this. Um, may as well do this. 7 block. Uh, this is irritating. He's not blocking for her this turn, so... And she didn't heal, too. All right, so that's good. I should be able to drop her this turn. Yep, she's done. Awesome. All right. Um, I think I'm going to use the rest of this to do a nice big fat block next turn. Yeah, he can't touch me next turn. <laughs> So I'm not even worried about the 7 times 3 I've got 41 block here. Phantasmal Killer, since I'm in good shape here. Heal Hook for free. Outmaneuver. Dagger Throw. Yeah, you guys can kind of see where this deck is at this point. It's a very defensive deck. But when it goes offensive, it can go really offensive. Well, it's irritating that I can't kill him this turn, but instead we'll just build up another huge wall of defense that's going to last two turns. And he's just going to die because of Caltrops. Thumbs up. Uh, Finisher is good in a lot of decks, but not in a deck. It's a little bit weaker in a deck that's got Velvet Choker in it. So I think this time... I'm just going to skip. I've already got a pretty big deck here. It is Finisher Plus, though. Man, I got to do it. All right, what's in the chest? Pair, hey, more HP. Not bad. This time I'm at high enough health that I think I can afford to upgrade something on that fire. We got another fight first. Hey, three cultists. This should be interesting. We can build up some defense this turn. Build up a lot of defense this turn. We can a couple of these guys. We got a nice 30 block of defense next turn. But we need to focus on killing these guys, because they're just going to get stronger and stronger. I'll need that footwork. I need these Caltrops. I need this Phantasmal Killer. I need this Ant Maneuver. Um, that's what I got. <laughs> I need some more attacks, I think. These guys are at least going to whack themselves over and over again on my Caltrops, but... As you can see, they're getting stronger every turn. This could definitely become a problem. I've got Pen Nip this turn. Oh no, it's just double damage straight. Okay. Well, I'm definitely doing a heal hook on you, since you are weakened. This is the Pen Nip one, and you are dead. That was great. I'm going to discard a defend. Dagger Spray for a good amount of damage. Strike. Defend. And a Leg Sweep to protect myself. This is going really good, actually. I think I'm going to be able to bring these bring these guys down. Without taking too much damage here. Alright, you're dead. Then I think I'm going to... Calculated Gamble to see if I can get a Leg Sweep. I didn't. But... I managed to do enough to kill him with that new finisher I almost didn't pick up. To think I almost didn't pick it up. I don't want any of these cards. I keep getting the Catalyst card even though I don't have any Poison. It's just not a good card without Poison. Uh, what can I improve here? What should I improve here? What does Phantasmal Killer improve? Just 
decreases the cost. That's not really a problem for me right now. Blur just improves your block. Heel hook just improves the damage a little bit. Uh, this stuff is really good. Dagger Spray gets you a, a nice increase in damage, and I like using it a lot. I'm going to go with that, I think. Got another little fight here. Oh yeah, this shouldn't be too bad. We're going to throw a Terror on you. Outmaneuver for the next turn. And I'm not going to be able to knock that bird out of the sky unless this works and I draw and neutralize. Which didn't happen. Oh well, it's alright. I'll use my footwork instead since they're not attacking this turn. And uh, using the footwork improves my dexterity, which will increase block, which is nice. All right, the bird's attacking. We definitely got to put it down. And the good news is we got a dagger spray, so that's really easy to do. A sweep. There we go. And then we can, with all the energy we've got, uh, weak the crap out of these guys. And. Uh, that's pretty good news. Now we're weak. That's no good. Well, that was a boring turn. <laughs> Just not much to do there. I guess I could have defended. Quick slash you, and then heel hook you because it's free. You didn't die. That's troubling. Well, I mean, anything I hit him with next turn is going to take care of it, I guess. I didn't need to take that hit. That was unnecessary, and I've put myself in a bit of a bind by doing it. Oh, boy. Well, you have to die. I'm gonna take a big hit here. This is this is bad. Oh boy. Gonna have to use this. Alright. This is free. Whew, I want to use Phantasmal Killer here. And I think it's worth taking the 4 damage to do it, because I'm going to need that double damage. Alright, cool. He is just doing a debuff this turn. Any attack, and we can kill him this turn. Any attack at all. Which, of course, is why I didn't draw one, but... But I did manage to get a blur defense up, so that buys me an extra turn. Any attack. There we go. You're dead. <laughs> Do I need more attacks in this deck? Oh, hey, look. I finally got a poison. I really like Bouncing Flask, too. I think it's a great card. Uh, because it piles up poison really fast on boss type encounters, and you're always going to have those. Alright, this is a good turn to buff up, so we'll throw Caltrops, throw a Neutralize because it's free. Then we'll throw up some defense with Blur in the two defends, because it's a Blur, and I get to use it, uh, keep it for next turn. And Sneko confuses us, because that's what he does. And we got random prices on stuff. <laughs> uh, we're going to Nightmare our finisher. That seems like a great idea. Uh, and then we're going to Strike for free. Well, first Leg Sweep, I guess. Block like crazy. 
and then we can hit a finisher for two. But next turn we're going to have three finishers in our hand, along with who knows what. Uh, I was hoping that these would be cheaper than that. That's too bad. I guess I'll strike for free. And then... Hmm. I wound up dealing another 24 damage with the finishers and taking 6 from the Sneko. Or I could do significantly less than that, but take significantly less. I'm going to be resting before this boss anyway, so let's try and just take the Sneko out quickly. I mean... Granted, the way I did that, I basically have to kill it this turn, so uh, let's see. Well, that's free, so I may as well. Dagger throw, calculated gamble. Not going to be able to use that anyway. Um... Okay, here's what we're going to have to do. I think the only solution at this point is to <laughs> throw my fire flask at him. But hey, we won the fight. Uh, though it was a. Uh, and we got another fire flask. So that actually worked out perfectly. Um, I'm not taking any more cards. I've got too many cards already. I kind of want to fight the elite, but I would die. So we're going to say we're going to go over here and claim a free relic. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to rest. I think that was the tiny chest working there. Definitely going to rest, get some health up in time for the boss, and we are where we died on the Ironclad run, on the boss. All right. Opening with a bouncing flask seems like a great idea. Do a neutralize. Oh, man, I would love to be able to nightmare my bouncing flask, but that's not what's going to happen here. I definitely want my footwork. I want to outmaneuver for next turn. And I'll go ahead and hit him with the bouncing flask to drop nine poison on him. I'm going to throw six more on him. I think that was a good use of a turn. Uh, let me tell you about the poison mechanic. Poison mechanic ticks for the number of damage that you have poison. And then after it, that, it removes, lowers the poison by one. And then it ticks for that much. And then you rinse and repeat. So we actually have enough energy to play our whole hand here. So we're gonna. Got my pen nib quick slash, so that's a good choice. And then I can blur. And do I need to defend again here? I think I will because I've got the blur up. That's why I'm going to do it. Look at that. No damage. So we got double damage this turn. That's great because we have dagger spray here, which does a ton of damage. Heal hook is free, so we'll use it. And then I think what we're going to do is kill you. And then I think we're going to block with the rest. I'm not at a ton of health here, so I'm just going to play it a little slow. Outmaneuver is always good. Deflect covers that. Kill you, hit you, and that's that turn. <laughs> I don't really need to use that last energy. What's he doing here? Oh, he's hitting us with... Oh, all three statuses. Yikes, that is bad juju. Well, here's a terror for you, Caltrops. May as well leg sweep to throw some more weak on there. Calculated to gamble for a new card which was just a strike. But it got us a little closer to pen nib, so... We've already got him to about half health. And he summoned one minion. Not bad. Okay, this is actually a pretty good hand. So we're going to heal hook, because it's free. Um, we definitely have to leg sweep for the defense. And then I'm just going to defend the rest of the way, too. Take uh, no damage from him. 
Um, well, I want to get through this fight, so we're hitting him with a bomb, too. Ugh. That vulnerable is bad news, man. All right. Bouncing flask. Go ahead and outmaneuver. Now let's go ahead and kill this guy so we don't take any damage from him. Managed to drop all three of the bounces on the collector, which is good. And uh, the big bad debuff wore off, which is great. So we have enough to do this. So let's go ahead and nightmare our phantasmal killer. So we got more of those flowing through the deck. And then we will phantasmal killer, hit him with a strike, and outmaneuver for even more energy next turn. I wonder if I do more than one phantasmal killer, it'll, um, oh boy. Well, I'm about to have to use it. First things first, though, we're going to deflect to make sure I don't lose any of that. Dagger spray. Uh, you know what? We're going to be fine here. Phantasmal killer. Two. Oh, it does stack. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, okay. So we're going to do triple damage next turn. Or no, we deal damage. Okay, it doesn't do it like that. It deals double damage for the next three turns. Okay. Well, that's still really good. <laughs> In any case, though, he's dead. We won the fight. GG, GG. Uh, we're going to take... We don't really need another Phantasmal Killer. I like Invenom, though. Whenever an attack deals unblocked damage, apply a poison. I like that. That's a good ability. Uh, I don't know about Sneko Eye. It's very risk-reward. I really love using potions, so I don't like Sozu. Lizard Tail seems like it could be pretty good. I'm going to take that. If we die... You'll heal to 50% of our max HP instead. So now we're on Act 3, the Beyond. Didn't get here on the uh, Ironclad. Bit of a bummer, if I'm honest. Boy, this seems like a fun path. I would miss uh, an Elite if I did it, but that's a lot of question marks. But doing Elites is really worth a lot of payoff. Um, I also kind of want that shop, too. We're going to go this way. All right. Phantasmal Killer is a great way to start. Uh, then we're going to neutralize the highest hit point guy and do a dagger spray. And throw a defend out there just so we don't take quite as much damage. Oh, I really wish we didn't have so much to do with strike and defend at this point of our journey. It seems a little inefficient. In any case, though, go ahead and throw our terror out there. Now, maneuver is always good. I can do a calculated gamble, see if I can get a leg sweep, and I did. Which allows me to defend most of this. Unfortunately, double damage was wasted because I didn't get any attacks, which is irritating. Heal hook is free, quick slash. You want to kill these guys around the same time because they have this lifelink ability. If the other enemies are still alive, it revives in two turns. So you want to kill them around the same time, which is tough because it means you have to spread the damage around and they're all still around doing damage to you. Which kind of sucks. I should have used those. I don't know why I didn't use those. Now I'm going to take 16 damage I didn't need to take. That was dumb. Alright. Well, I don't have any defense cards in my hand here. So that's bad. Um... So basically, it's just worth it for me to play out maneuver and try to kill these guys next turn. That's painful. That's free another free 24 damage from these dudes. I did not like losing 50 
hit points in my first turn. On the bright side, at least I'm defending like crazy this turn. I was hoping for that. That one's definitely going to die now. We're going to nightmare our heel hook. Because <coughs> we're going to get a bunch of free attacks next turn doing that. All right. I think we're going to get through this. Although I've taken a lot more damage in this fight than I wanted. Take. And I'm not happy about that. But we got all the heel hooks, and they're all free, so this fight is over. Alright, Finisher is going to deal a bunch of damage. It would, be, it would have been 32 had he not just died there. Like I said, I've taken a lot more damage than I wanted to take that turn. Gonna change my strategy a bit. I'm gonna be avoiding those elites. All right, start you off with some terror. We're just gonna do everything we can here, and I'm just gonna use a block potion. But he's sitting on 13 poison damage, which is nice. Yuck. Another freebie big chunk of damage. That's pretty crappy, to be honest. I don't like the way this is going. Although my pen nib there did some serious work. Um, at Blur Plus, I will definitely. A shop. Excellent. What you got for me? My favorite card. Noxious Fumes. I love this card. We're also going to toss out a strike. Oh, these guys again? I just basically lost a game to these guys. All right, well, let's go ahead and drink our regen potion because we're going to need it. Keltrops is up. Need a, Let's go ahead and leg sweep to get a weakened out there. Uh, dagger spray for some damage. Regen potions are exactly what they sound like. They heal you for three every turn, and they last five turns. So it's basically one of the few things you can do to heal yourself in this game. That is very, there's not a lot. To heal you in this game. Well, we're about to eat a heap of damage. Uh, in fact, <laughs> regen potion's the only thing that kept me alive there. That's really bad. I think we're definitely going to die on this fight. This really wasn't that good a run. It's kind of remarkable that I made it as far as I did. <laughs> Hmm. Here's an idea. We're going to Nightmare or Deflect. So next turn, we're going to be able to deflect three times, which, you know, could help us stay alive for a little bit longer. Blur 
plus, three fleet free deflects. We'll do a survivor, drop strike, defend, and there you go. We got some good defense at least for a turn. Maybe we won't die on these guys. I'm allowing myself a little bit of hope. Heel hook is free. I'm going to go ahead and outmaneuver in Venom. And I think I'm going to take... I'm not going to take you down because the other guys need to be lower as well. You know what I could really use right now? Like three strikes and a dagger spray. Because I could be able to get the pen nib on the dagger spray. Okay. <sighs> We're going to live through this turn. Got the Noxious Fumes out there. Uh, I think I'm dead. That is highly unfortunate. Oh, wait a minute. Nope. Caltrops. <laughs> what a pleasant surprise to not be dead. I can actually go over and get a heal. Free deflect is nice. I mean, my deck is huge. Don't build your deck like this. Oh, a fight. I was really hoping for not a fight. Well, it's this or nothing, so definitely using the dex potion right to start with. Got my Noxious Fumes to start with, which is great. Uh, go ahead. Dagger throw this guy. Caltrops is great. Get that out there. It was a pretty nice little buffing turn. I want to almost try and defend my way through this fight, to be honest. Uh, it doesn't really seem like there's a good way to go through this. Outmaneuver. And then I think we're going to calculate a gamble here to get some better stuff. Uh, now nah, we're already dead. It sucks. Yeah, I didn't want another fight here, but nothing I can do. GG me. Oh, wait, I forgot the lizard tail. Never mind. Not dead yet. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> I made it, <laughs> somehow. That's amazing. <laughs> I made it to my campsite somehow. And we can rest. I'm recording. I figured that. I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry for not getting off work till 1 o'clock. I'm only recording one video. I'm really sorry this has to be on the video. Probably going to die on this fight. I really shouldn't have done that. That was really dumb. Oh man, that's that move right there might be what cost me in the end to do that. 
That's not a card you want to use against fucking spikes. I didn't have any defense. On the bright side, at least this dude's going to kill himself on me, which is actually just going to straight up kill me. Oh well. Had a good run. Made it to the third floor. You're not going to win every one of these. And honestly, I was surprised I got as far as I did with this admittedly kind of crappy, didn't really have an identity run. But in any case, that's going to be it for this episode. Well, go ahead and tell you the same thing I told you last time. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I'll try and get another one up tomorrow. We'll see. Thanks for watching. See you next time.